What's going on YouTube world? Austin Zayback coming to you with another YouTube video and in this video we are going to kind of just go about another day in the life as a entrepreneur, okay? As a real estate investor, as a real estate wholesaler, as a real estate agent, okay? As a, um, a dude that owns an ATM business and if you're new to this channel, um, I want to start by saying that I'm just a normal freaking dude, okay? I literally am no different from you and it wasn't very long ago that I didn't have any of what it is that you see now. So I just want you to keep that in the back of your mind as you're literally deciding whether or not you want to subscribe to my channel and uh, and follow along on the journey, okay? Just remember that I'm not one of those dudes that's like, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me, okay? I, I just want to show you, you know, every single day what it is that I do and, and, and how I'm able to do it, right? And, and kind of what makes me normal and, and just kind of how you can do the same things, right? And, and teach you literally anything that I can about mindset, about success, about business, about hiring, about firing, okay? And overall, just hopefully entertain you and um, just kind of show you behind the scenes, okay? Stuff that not a lot of people are talking about. And by the way, I'm young, okay? Well, depending on how you look at it. I'm 24 years old, I turned 25 in May. And uh, a lot of people aren't talking about that, but I want to talk about it because I know there's a lot of older dudes on YouTube that are showing kind of all of this big, like this grandiose type of stuff. But the reality of it is they are 20 or 30 or 40 years older than probably people like you and I watching this video right now. So if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button and stay tuned. And I will uh, just kind of bring you about my day. Let's go. All right, we're about to film an A&A show, uh, which is our podcast slash like show that we do. And uh, we have a special guest coming in, Clark. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Clark, but it's Clark uh, Geegly, I think is what it is. So I'll put that right here. I'll put his information potentially down below. He's probably calling me right now. Let's see. It's him right here. That's how you spell his last name. Yo, what's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, officer? I am uh, right by that blue elevator. Okay, cool. Yeah, you'll just walk up the stairs, uh -huh. and then you'll make a right at the top of the stairs. Okay. And then you will uh, just walk all the way straight towards like Camelback. I just sent you a text. Did you get it? Yeah, okay. But you're on the right side, right? Like, if you're facing the blue elevator. Oh, I see you. Make, I see you. Yeah, turn around, go the other direction, and walk all the way straight towards Camelback. We're in here, but you got to enter all the way around at the front. All right, so Clark is arriving right now. We're about to film an A&A show, okay, which is going to be super dope. This is the A&A show right here. So we're about to film an A&A show. I'll see if I can show you a little bit. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the A&A show. I'll put the link in the description down below. And uh, this is kind of what we're doing. So let's rock and roll. All right, we're about to film an a and a show with Clark, the man, the myth, the legend, Austin Lewis. Hey guys, I'm gonna put Clark's information down below as well. Also, check out the a and a show if you haven't already. That's right. Uh, again, that description will be down in the link, or the link will be down in the description below. And uh, enjoy the rest of the vlog. What is going on YouTube? This is Austin Zayback coming to you with another YouTube video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why bandit signs do not work. So, we are going to film another video right now. We buy houses, okay, we're actually filming a bandit sign video. So if you're familiar with wholesaling, it isn't gonna be this video, but I'm showing you in this video that we're about to film another video, so let's get it. I see the one. Is this your favorite song? This is not my favorite song. Is as this a, your hype song? As a matter of fact, what happened is, for some reason, my Spotify just likes to play. Actually, it's not even my Spotify. It's my Apple, Mu my iTunes, Apple Music, or whatever plays that freaking song, "Smack That" by whoever the hell. And um, I have no idea why. Okay, I don't know why they play it, but every time, every single time, like ten times out of like a million times out of a million, if I get in my car. Smack that starts playing and it's not even on any of my playlists like it's nowhere to be found on my phone Like I have no idea no clip, but That's the reality of it. So now I know the song pretty well because I mean, you know every time I get in the gosh dang car That's what's playing dog. 
That's what I was playing. Hey, we closed a, a big fat deal yesterday. For those of you that watched my last vlog, I was actually, I was on the phone talking to one of my clients about a $2.5 million listing and it finally closed yesterday. So that was a good deal. Might just have to sell their other house for them now in Gilbert, okay? Which is like 1.5 million. Yeah, that's pretty dope, right? I mean, you know, look, do the math on that. If you're a real estate agent, okay, you're making 3% typically, especially when you're representing the buyer. I'm not saying that's like, you know, the, the end all be all commission structure but like it is like the most common commission or whatever. It's like 3% to the buyer, 3% to the seller. Some agents are gonna tell you that like commissions are going down and maybe they are, maybe they aren't. It's like nobody has a crystal ball. But what I do know is that if you provide value, then look, your commission is whatever it needs to be in order for it to make sense to everybody, right? Which is the way that you should conduct business if you're in business, okay? If you're a real estate agent, if you're anybody for that matter, man. If you have, if you have freaking wholesaler, okay? putting up bandit signs. I wouldn't put up bandit signs actually. I'm gonna light this thing on fire for my YouTube video, okay? I can't do anything with it in here because I'm driving. But I'm gonna light this thing on fire and we gonna talk about how bandit signs don't work, okay? They don't freaking work anymore. You know, and there's a lot of a lot of like gurus out there that are like, put up bandit signs, send direct mail. And look, you know, I'm not saying like, now I don't want you to be like, like, before you go to the comment section, you're like, F you Austin, like you're you're wrong. Like bandit signs do work, direct mail does work. Um, okay, look, yeah, like it does. If you, if you send direct mail every month for six months, eight months, 12 months, yeah, you're eventually gonna get a deal, right? Like for sure, 100% without a shadow of a doubt. It also depends on what market you're in. And the other thing is like, can you afford to send direct mail to 10,000 people for the next eight months of your life in hopes that it works. Like that's what I'm trying to say is like if you're, I know dudes that like murder it with bandit signs and direct mail, but they've been doing it forever and ever and ever and ever. And they know their KPIs, they know their numbers, they know what they have to do on a monthly basis to make, to, to get an ROI, right? So if you're brand new to the business, then I don't recommend bandit signs, which I'm gonna talk about in another video. So if you haven't already, I mean, look, first of all, I don't know why we're even talking about this right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm driving down the road, just giving value all the time. No, I'm just kidding. But for sure, like, go subscribe, okay? Uh, you would be amazing if you would just smash the subscribe button. Like, just look at it, smash it, punch it, like, whatever you gotta do, make it happen. And, uh, and, and click the like button while you're at it, or the dislike button. Like, either way, just click a button. Like, click something on your screen right now, okay? I'm just playing around. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. All right, so we're driving here through, look at this, check out this house right here. It's a big freaking modern mansion, okay, going up. This is what they call like Arcadia, Arizona, which is super interesting, okay? It's actually not even like a real city. It, it's like it's like technically like Scottsdale or like Phoenix, like depending on where you go. But people have adapted it as like Arcadia, which is like a thing, but it's not a thing, okay? So super interesting, but that house back there that we looked at is probably going for like 3 million, 3.2 million, I'd have to look, but probably right in there somewhere. What? It's the name of the neighborhood, like New York City. Yeah, 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 like Arcadia, but it's not, it doesn't even exist anywhere though it's like you know what I mean show me a sign that says Arcadia it's all made that up that doesn't exist in New York it's either. all made up you know what I mean I guarantee there's a sign in New York that says New York no 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 in New York there's like little neighborhoods like the Upper West Side like you think this is done in season East Village or do you think that's oh it's the cable company and all that that's the house we closed on yesterday okay 2.5 million if you guys can see that it's all gated and it looks like oh no these people are all going to that house right there yeah, did you know that house is pending right now really yeah 2.5, same exact price as our house and it's right up against the road. Wow. Um, homeboy sold that to Homeboy. The seller on the deal that we just did, mm -hmm. that was his lot, like that was his land. Oh wow. And he sold it to the developer right there, which is um, Green, I think it's Derek Jar, right? That's Green Street, I think. Crazy. Derek Jar, which is now listed by Brian North. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the freaking vlog. Okay, we gonna drop a bunch of value. Look man, here's the reality of it. We woke up this morning, we, what do we do? We freaking, I grinded, okay? Went to the office, no, I went to the gym, then I went to the, I did like my mindset, like morning ritual or whatever, which I do pretty much all, most every morning, not quite every morning, but almost every morning. And then got to the office super early, game plan, did an A&A show with Clark, okay? Clark freaking crushed it. Then did a, per, filmed a personal YouTube video for you watching this right now with Clark as well, which was like a phenomenal video. And then um, just did like a bunch of other random stuff and now we're driving and we're about to film this video and then it's gonna be like pretty much just like re regular business for the rest of the day like brick and mortar type stuff so I don't know just freaking stay tuned we're grinding we're hustling my energy is what time is it it's time 111 make a wish not in flow 111 not in flow state right now now it's about the time where I tank on my energy for about two or three more hours so 
my creative juices aren't flowing right now, but they will be, okay? If you keep watching the vlog, they'll be flowing here in a little while. So stay tuned and we'll keep you posted. Essentially, and then ultimately scale that, right? And those are all things that we'll talk about on, on like upcoming calls. Specific to um, this uh, call, I wanna talk about a couple of the different ways and a couple of the different um, actual P types of data that you're gonna be able to pull. There's some other things that we'll talk about once I get back over to here, but for now, I just wanna show you this really quick, what this looks and feels like. Yeah, so that's skip tracing in a nutshell, right? Like skip tracing. Could you look me up on there? I could, but it would cost me money, or I'd have to make an account. Dive into all this. We're gonna send all this over to you probably within the next half hour or hour, and uh, let's rock and roll. All right, brother. Cool. You're let's the man, brother. I'll let, kind of emails, let me know if you need. Let me know if you need anything at all in the meantime. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Talk to you soon. Bye, bye. All right. It is now Wednesday, so it is the next day. I got super freaking tired last night, and um, we had like a, me a meeting super late. Anyway, so it is the next day. Um, I actually went and showed the reason I'm wearing this. I went and showed a 1.5, the 1.5 million dollar listing again this morning to a client that is looking at it for the second time. So um, hopefully that one goes under contract right away. That would be super freaking dope. And I'm also editing a YouTube video. Okay, so I'm actually um, currently editing my own video here, as you can see on iMovie, okay, which is um, not the most ideal thing in the world, but we're making it happen. And that's what it's all about. You know, that's what YouTube's about. That's what doing this for you is about, is just making it happen, right? I think a lot of people, they overthink it. They they want everything to be perfect, they want the lighting to be perfect, and the audio to be perfect, and they want the edit to be perfect, right? And they want all these things to be perfect, but the reality of it is, is that if you don't take action, then like it doesn't matter anyways, right? So you just have to take action, you have to understand that action is the number one ingredient to success, right? It's just action, taking action and making it happen, okay? I think, you know, I was always told, Austin, you have to have a fire, ready, aim mentality, which is essentially like pull the trigger, right? Like make it happen, like figure it out later, okay? So that's what I'm doing, okay, with YouTube and um, I'm loving it, right? I'm having a blast and I hope you are too. We've actually locked up two wholesale deals today, okay? One of them is like a big freaking wholesale deal, like 50K, 60, 70K spread and then another wholesale deal is like 20 or 30K spread. Um, we've showed the listing this morning. I'm dressed up because this is my suit of armor, okay? Which we can talk about in another video, but you gotta wear your freaking suit of armor when you're closing big deals. We have um, a meeting going on over here, okay? If you guys can see that meeting going on over there, we've got a bunch of people in there that are doing some different stuff, okay? So it's actually a big meeting for, essentially, let me see, this is refocus. It's a big meeting for our ATM business, so we're about to do that as well. And I am just super blessed, super grateful to have the opportunity to share with you watching this right now that look, anybody can do this. I'm 24 years old, I'm running multiple companies. I, I don't have it all figured out. I never will have it all figured out. You'll never have it all figured out. Nobody will ever have it all figured out. But the difference between me and potentially you, but I hope not, is that I'm willing to fail forward, right? I'm willing to take action. I'm willing to make it happen, right? I don't care if I fail. I don't care if people, if people get mad at me or get upset or get frustrated, but they're gonna get mad, upset, and frustrated no matter what. So the reality of it is, you just gotta take action. We're getting a phone call. Let's see if we can close a deal here. Ah, they freaking hung up, okay. Well, we're gonna make some calls. We're gonna make it happen. Stay tuned to the end of the video if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you here in a little while. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, brother. So, um, you've been interested in growing your social media, right? And growing your brand. And by the way, we're showing it, right? Like I'm sure you see me on social media, like the giveaways that I'm that I'm talking about, that I'm showing you. I'm a part of. Like you, you've been watching me grow with my social media. Like you, if you've been paying attention, you've been seeing my number of followers actually go up, right? In the begin, depending on the account, and depending, you know this, right? But depending on the account and depending on kind of what your goals are, sometimes in the beginning, it's all about social credibility, right? It's all about perception is reality, right? It's, because the thing is, is it's easier for me to get you to 100,000 followers internationally and then drive United States traffic because they're more likely to follow you when you have that social credibility, right? There's millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars to be made on social media. I'm a living, breathing example of that. I'm not here to bullshit you, right? I, I, own, I, I own two real estate companies. I own an ATM company. I own a social media agency. Um, you know, so we, we, we're, we're business people, right? I, I was a business, I was a businessman before I was an influencer. Just remember that. It wasn't the other way around. It wasn't the other way around. So I, I love it, brother. Well, hey, it was a pleasure talking to you. I'm going to send you over that list and then we'll go from there. All right. We'll, no problem at all. Talk to you soon, man.
Zach Zostin Zayback, how are we living, brother? Dude, I'm doing phenomenal. It's a little bit rainy, I'm not too, too much of a fan, but hey, you know you win some, you lose some, right? You close the remember, deal. What? Do you remember this Cody cat? Cody, what's your last name, bro? Arshambo, 30%. Yeah, yeah, Cody Arshambo. You remember that cat? Arshambo. He's, he's getting paid 30% right now. I want to talk to you about something really quick, okay? Uh, I'm coming in here into my studio because there's a bunch of there's a bunch of people in, in my office, okay, right now uh, doing a ton of meetings, ton of random stuff. Okay, hopefully you can see me. All right, let's see. Let me just prop you up here, okay? So so we can talk to each other. Um, So I'm going to talk to you really quick, okay? I have Fix my, fix my deal. All right. Now I'm just playing around. This is actually like a super. This is actually like an inexpensive suit jacket. This thing I bought this from like I don't know. So I ain't showing off. This thing's not even that expensive. Okay. No, but I just want to talk to you really quick about is wholesaling illegal? Okay. Now I know that we're kind of doing a vlog and you're kind of hanging out and we're doing a bunch of different stuff and we're just like we're just going right. We that's what we do. You know we 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 move 100 miles an hour. Okay. As an entrepreneur, you know, I was reading a book the other day called um, The Hypomanic Edge, right? And it was just like, you know, the difference between like, a lot, it's like a lot of success or something in America, right? And it's talking about like entrepreneurs and how it's just go, 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 a million miles an hour, right? <clears throat> and that's kind of what we do, okay? So, you know, um, look, but I'm not doing 150 different things. I mean, I, I'm really only doing, I do real estate, right? I own two real estate companies, okay? I do traditional real estate, so I'm a real estate agent that buys and sells, or re sorry, represents buyers and sellers, right? Now, I've got a team of agents that do that with me, okay? And I've also got the, the, tr the wholesaling real estate company where we wholesale real estate, okay? We also do some fix and flips and some creative deals and stuff like that too, okay? But that all kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, it all goes literally perfectly together, okay? Only other thing I do really is the ATM business. Now, you know, if you don't know that about the ATM business, your first time watching my YouTube channel or whatever, you know, go check it out, right? It's essentially literally exactly like you'd imagine. It's like an ATM, okay? It's an ATM machine and, uh, you know, we <clears throat> put an ATM machine in somebody's location and we make the surcharge of that ATM. But, you know, then other than that, I mean, we just do like marketing and stuff. I mean, we do social media, we do marketing, you know, but it's not like a business by any means. I mean, we, you know, people come to us and want to do business with us, we do business with them. But again, you know, we keep it pretty close, right? It's like real estate and marketing is kind of like our wheelhouse, right? That's what we know. That's what we do. Not, not, not too, too crazy. So for this video though, I want to talk about wholesaling a little bit, right? You know, I know that, uh, and by the way, I don't want you to think I'm giving you legal advice or anything like that. I'm not. I actually don't know a lot about, about what I'm about to say like right after this. Okay. So I know that I, to my knowledge, okay, to my knowledge, I know that they banned wholesaling, okay, wholesaling real estate, where you flip the contract, right, where you're flipping the contract, okay, in a certain state, okay, I'm not even going to say what state it is, okay, because I don't want to get into it, right, I'm just going to give you my opinion on the matter, I don't know a lot about the situation, okay, so feel free to hate and to drop comments and whatever, I'm down, I like that, okay, what I do know is this, uh, I think wholesalers it has been so glorified right there's so many people that have that have essentially made wholesaling sexy okay and again i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say any names right but i think so many people have made wholesaling sexy that um you know look at the end of the day i think wholesalers are making too much money probably you know i think they're making 30 40 50 grand on a deal where the fix and flipper right the guy that's actually risking all of his money or hard money or whatever to actually repair the property and fix the thing up He's not making any money, right? He's not, you know, I talk to a lot of guys. They're like, look, the wholesaler made the rip on the deal and they didn't do anything. Right now, I, I don't totally agree with that because I'm a wholesaler, right? And I love wholesaling. I've been doing it for a long time. And I've done the fix and flip model too. I've done both models. But what I do know is that, you know, look, it, it, first of all, wholesalers do a whole lot, right? They market, they find the deal, they negotiate the deal, they find the buy. Like there's all kinds of stuff a wholesaler does, right? That a fix and flipper or a buy and hold guy doesn't want to do, okay? You know, but uh, but at the end of the day, if, if the wholesaler's making 30, 40, 50 grand and the fix and flipper's making 10 or 20, there's probably a problem there, right? There's probably a problem. And so, and here's the other thing, wholesalers are starting to make more money than real estate agents, okay? And real estate agents make a decent amount of money already, right? So I think there's just a fine line.
mind. So I think a lot of people are like, hey Austin, is what, like do you think wholesaling is gonna become illegal? Or do you think like in a matter of a couple of years, you know, maybe you're not gonna be able to wholesale or maybe it's gonna be, wholesaling is gonna be saturated, right? Wholesaling real estate is gonna be saturated. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't think wholesaling real estate is gonna be saturated, okay? And nor do I think it is gonna be like totally illegal across the, the whole, you know, the United States of America or whatever. That's not what I think, okay? What I do think is that, you know, uh, first of all, I think a lot of people are gonna get out of the business, right? I think there's a lot of people in the business and a lot of the people that are in the business have never been through a market correction. Now, I'm not saying there's a market correction that is gonna happen tomorrow, okay? It's not, that isn't what I wanna talk about in this video. What I am saying is that facts are facts, statistics are statistics, right? And at some point, we're due for a market correction. We just are, right? So understand that when that happens, I think a lot of people are gonna get out of the business. I just do. And um, so I think there's a lot going on in the wholesaling community right now, in the fix and flip community, and even with real estate agents, right? I think real estate agents, like they, they, you've got, we've got to like get it dialed in a little bit, okay? Because uh, you know there, there, there's people that are talking about you know buyer brokers commissions coming down. It's going from like a typical three percent to like a two point five percent, depending on the area that you live in, obviously. So whatever. I look. The bottom line is this: there's always going to be changes in business, right? Business. There's always changes. People are putting people out of business. You know, block. Netflix puts Blockbuster out of business. You know, Amazon is putting like Walmart and some of these other like brick and mortar stores out of business. Business, okay, so you know that's just the reality of it, right? The reality of it is business is changing, it's evolving, it's growing. Look, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? I, I, that would be my advice to you is to spread yourself out a little bit. Now, I'm not saying go chase 12, 12 rabbits and, and not catch any, right? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you have success in wholesaling, you know, get into the ATM business, right? Invest in a rental property, buy some multifamily, right? Get a, a 401k, get, you know, invest in the stock market. Maybe not right now, okay? I'm not, I don't know, I'm not giving, I, I don't want to be that guy, I'm just playing around. <clears throat> but you know, uh, um, like diversify, right? Diversify yourself and understand that business Business is business and um, you know a lot of people in business are sharks right it's just the way it is whether you want to like it or not don't be one of them okay don't be one of them you know be do conduct business in an ethical manner and I think you'll be successful right I think if you're ethical and you go out there and you and you do business with other people the way that you would want other people to do business with you then I think you'll be successful 100% of the time right and I think you'll have a long-lasting success that it, it isn't gonna go anywhere right it's just it, you're gonna have success and the door the right doors and the right opportunities are going to open for you and um, you're not going to have to worry right so don't worry don't don't spend your whole life worrying about what is going to happen because you, you know nobody can predict the future right now I don't know what's going to happen you don't know what's going to happen nobody knows what is going to happen what I do know is that if you worry about it that isn't going to do anybody any freaking good okay so do not worry about it okay and uh, just go out there do ethical business get fired up for greatness and do the best that you can do to provide value to to other people, right? That is what business is all about, is providing value to other people, okay? Providing a solution to a problem in the marketplace. If you can do that, you will be successful 10 times out of 10 without a shadow of a doubt, guaranteed, okay? So go out there and make that happen. And by the way, I hope you're enjoying the freaking vlog, okay? We're in here in the studio right now. I'll show you. This is what kind of the studio looks like when, when nobody's in here, okay? We got the freaking A and A show sign right here, which you guys have seen. If you haven't seen it, then you need to go watch the A and A show, okay? Because it's a phenomenal A and A show. We're myself and my business partner, Austin Lewis, bring you a ton of value. We're on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, podcasts, and YouTube, okay? So definitely go check that if you haven't already. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing, okay? Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm sitting here in my garage right now. I just drove home to change my clothes really quick and then I'm gonna head back to the office and continue to grind. I'm actually like 
tired right now. So I'm, I've been like literally doing like a bunch of research and stuff, but essentially trying to figure out like my body and like kind of what like my flow state is every single day and what uh, like times are like a really good for like recording and what times are really good for phone calls and what times are really good for like just different things to just understand my body a little bit better. So that's kind of something I've been doing. So like right now today I'm hitting like this like brick wall. It's like five o'clock and I'm just like brick wall, right? So I've been like up and just grinding all freaking day. And then it's just like brick wall, like boom, like done. And so, and then like typically like a few hours will go by and then I'll be in like a flow, like peak state of mind again. So really just understanding my body at a little bit higher of a level. And then obviously it is like working with my body, like being efficient. Like there's no point in like forcing myself to do things that I'm not like good at when I'm not in a flow state of mind. And then doing things that I am really good at when I'm in a flow state of mind, in the flow state of mind, and then doing the things that I don't really need that much like mental energy for when I'm not in like a flow state of mind, right? So just understanding my personal body a little bit more is helping me a lot to actually be more efficient and to get like essentially more stuff done. So something for you to potentially look into, okay, if you're watching this vlog, Vlog all the way through is just like a random like thought as I'm kind of going about my day and definitely something for you to just take into account. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. I'll see you in a little while. I just changed and now we're walking back to the office right now, okay? And uh, got a bunch of stuff we gotta do tonight. Gotta like, just like do a bunch of like random stuff at the office. This is pretty much it really. Like maybe film a couple of videos and just do like a bunch of random stuff. So it's gonna be kind of a light evening. Not light, but it's gonna be just kind of like a, a regular evening here. And that's pretty much it guys. So it's a day in the life, you know. We try to stay busy pretty much all the time. You know, I don't like having downtime. I'm not really a downtime kind of guy. The reality of it is I have a very like addictive personality. So I wanna make sure that I'm always addicted to the right things, right? I wanna make sure that I'm never addicted to like bad things. So, you know, I try to stay, I try to stay addicted to the right stuff, okay? And that's what it boils down to for me. Check out how beautiful it is outside though. Live it is freaking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I actually don't live here anymore did live here though till like a week ago but this beautiful freaking apartment complex it's actually where our office is as well if you guys have ever or if you've ever seen our office pretty freaking dope let me know what you guys want to what you guys want to see okay in future vlogs i'd be happy to make it for you there's a lot that goes on in a day right i want to know what it is that you want to see what it is that you don't want to see right like we live uh in a place where there's a lot of a lot of that right you can see it's like a rolls royce a rolls royce ghost right there so let me know what you guys want to see i'd be happy to make it for you You're talking on the camera. Okay. Yeah, it'll happen. About your YouTube. How many subs are you at? 12,211, give or take. Yeah, and you know, a lot of business and stuff will come from that. And Oh yeah. Shoe driver? Yeah, but can you give us something for the YouTube? For the vlog? Hey, you just gotta do whatever it takes. I think a lot of people, they they, they want to be the freaking guy that, that does the sales or the Shopify or the PJs and the and the girls and the and the yacht and the, the Lambo, but they don't wanna they don't wanna get on their hands and knees and scrape dog shit off the concrete, okay? And that's what you gotta do. You gotta be able to do whatever it takes whenever it takes it. Okay, so you know, look, nobody else is gonna do it for you. You gotta do it. You gotta get off your lazy, you know what, and make it happen, okay? So if you're watching and you wanna achieve success in anything in life, you gotta get you gotta make sure first of all you got the tools and the resources to get you to where you wanna be, and then you gotta be willing to do whatever it takes. Don't ever get to too big for the little things, okay? That's my message for you. All right, we are sitting here in the office. It is five o'clock somewhere. It is 6.35 p.m. and it is Wednesday. And I'm super tired, but we got a long ways to go. We got a couple more things to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, okay? If you enjoyed the vlog, then I would love to continue to make vlogs for you, okay? So let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. And um, like the freaking video if you haven't already, or dislike it. Either way, a like up or a like down is still a freaking like, and I'll take it either freaking way. Drop in the comment section down below what you'd like to see in a future video, and I look forward to seeing you there.